Hi, I'm Steve. Welcome to my shop and to Very Cool Stuff. I'm just going to start a, a series. I'm going to call it uh, Tool Review Tuesdays. I'm probably the last Tuesday in every month. I'm going to review a tool that I've been using for a while and just give you my honest views about it. None of this is, is sponsored in any particular way. It's just my hard earned cash and the tools that I use to do what I do. So the first tool I'm going to talk about is my plunge saw, which is a Rutland's uh, cheapo. Uh, it costs in the region of 80, 90 pounds. The exact figure will be up there when I uh, dig out the invoice. I've had it about 12 months, uh, and it served me well. I only use it for cutting uh, sheet goods, to be honest. Uh, but it works well, particularly in conjunction with the MFT. Also, it's a, I did an out of the box and a, the first cuts review, so you can see that there if you want to. Click on the link. Uh, so I'm not actually going to use uh, this that much uh, as a review. Just to tell you what I think about it, to be honest. Uh, a few things that I really do like about it is the price uh, and the ease of use. A couple of things I don't like about it. The blade that it comes with. It's just about all right. It's a 24 tooth, good for ripping, no good for cross cutting. Yeah. And soon after I got it, the 8mm screw that holds in the uh, the blade sort of uh, rounded off on the inside. I'll have to punch it out. No problems. Got did that. Got a new one. And the second one, which is. Uh, <laughs> more of a quandary is that when you're using it the handle here gets warm so we'll have a look at that now and see what you think it's that the tracks are not that good you can hear it when you join them together they're not a good, they're not good and, it, and in some of them because uh, I bought some extra track for it uh, same make they just don't even line up so they'll, they'll actually get stuck there. Uh, so that's a downside. The, also on the tracks, the uh, the splinter guide doesn't go to the ed edges. So when you join them up, you do get a little bit of a a gap. They tend to do the job though, uh, in terms of. Uh, giving support to the fibres Cut still clean. So MDF not a problem. Along the grain, not a problem. Both sides. Cross gain, pretty good. A little bit bigger where I started off. <coughs> well, it's more than acceptable. So I've just done uh, four cuts. 
so I put the digital thermometer on it before this is what it looked like so I'll put it on it now so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to leave it like that for uh, 10 minutes so it's been about 10 minutes I'll just give it another check that's not we're using it, that's just we sat there with it's on power through, uh, through the vac system the other good thing, I mean a good thing about it is that you know it does accept just normal vac fitment so this is a uh, festool set so it just goes in without a problem it just gets warm just around this area so I guess there must be some capacitors or transformers or something in that area the rest of the area is not that warm at all it's around where the motor is so I've just unplugged it so we'll uh, we'll see how long it takes to cool down well six minutes has gone Cool down somewhat. It's like around about 19, 20 degrees is the uh, ambient temperature of this. Give it a bit longer. Ten minutes he gets back to uh, normal. Interesting. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to uh, plug it in, uh, not run it, and just see if it uh, heats up again. So it's just been plugged in for just over five minutes. We'll check what it is now. Gone. 10 degrees. It's been being plugged in, not even be used. So, guys, what do you reckon? So that's a review of my punch saw. Is it the best? Definitely not. Uh, does it meet my needs? Yes. Would I buy it again? Yeah, I probably would. However, if I could find one of those from uh, Lidl or Aldi that would go to about £40, I'd probably buy one of those. Well, thank you for tuning in. See you again.